Just caught a fish see, oh, in the river. Not sure what that is. Hey folks, J Chan TV again. Today I got the little boulder. So I'm gonna launch my tuck tuck here in the river. So I have it all set up, ready to go. This is the mighty Mississippi River. River conditions seem to be quite mild. Not many waves, wind is very low. So I'm gonna just try and see uh, what I can get in this river. Uh, very curious on what parts of the river hold fish. So I'm gonna use the fish finder to just you know scan this area and just check it out. Okay, so see you in the water. So folks, I am officially launched into the Mississippi River. Turn on my fish finder, Garmin Striker 4 and uh, it sort of helps me understand what is going on in this stretch of the river that I fish a lot from the shore. As you can see, there are people there today too, fishing. Uh, and here on my fish finder, I see that's just lots of bait fish hanging out in the 8 to 12 feet of water. This water is not, uh, it's about 15 to 18 feet deep. I'm just going to, you know, put my kayak uh, right behind this bridge here and just see if, you know, if there are fishes hanging out around here. Um, I'm paddling upstream right now. This is headed up towards the dam. If you're familiar with this area here, this is the uh, intermediate pool. Um, this is the river, and so I'm very, very cautious even though conditions today seem to be quite friendly. Uh, but you never know what might happen in the, in the river. So I have my life vest on just to be sure, just to be safe, right? You don't know what might happen. So as we paddle um, past this bridge here, uh, I think I'm still seeing a lot of bait fish. So it makes sense that, oh, there's a little hump here. I hope you could see in the fish finder. All right, see some fishes hanging out on this little hump confirms my suspicion that you know, there are you know, fish closer to this edge uh, by, by the bridge. I've always tried to cast from the shore over there, but I could never reach this, this side here. Yep. So, not sure what these fishes are. They are stuck to the, uh, basically to the ground, so could be carps, could be you know catfish. I'm not sure if these are. Uh, you know, be nice if there are uh, walleyes here, but we don't know what they are based on my uh, my fish finder. I'm just going to paddle, you know, upstream a little more. Stretch here. It's. Still, you know, going upstream, it's not too tough, right? Not too tough, still. Yeah, I see a little hump here again. We see uh, activities of what looks like could be fish in the fish finder. But I'm just going to scan this place a little more. And just see. Oh yeah, that's definitely the fish, this one. I hope you could see that. Yep, staying off the ground. Oh, here as well, we see a bunch of fish in this part here. Fish here as well, pretty close to shore. Nothing too crazy. Not sure what that is. Again, you know, this is a place that could get snaggy. You see those rocks at the side, um, yeah bunch of bait fish
Uh, just caught a fish see, oh, in the river. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's a catfish. It's a big one. Got my. Uh, whoa, did you guys see that? Yeah, it's a big catfish. It was just trolling. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Big cat has see this big cat here. Not the species that I would like to get, but I'm gonna just remove him. Oh my gosh, this is a giant catfish. Rivers are scary places to get because they have big fishes. This is the first successful troll, I would say. And see the catfish when you overpower them, they will try to, you know, spin their way around. I'm trying to get this guy off. This bloody this hook here. Hook is out, I think. He tries to spin his way around. Yeah, the other one is so deep inside, I couldn't. I'm not sure if I can get it out. Okay, this is not a good situation. It's not a good situation. I am drifting downstream. Should just put this guy in the boat. So I'm gonna do a change in plan. I'm just going to go paddle back to the beach. Yeah, because there's, there's just no way for me to get that. You know, to get my lure back from uh, this big guy. Uh, so I'm gonna go back. You know, have have this space to actually, you know, remove his lure. And see people on the beach wants this catfish you know i'm not a big fan of catfishes uh it's gonna take him out and if no one wants it i'll just put it back in the water so it's in a in the river it's scary because uh once you're just taking time to unhook fish or retire a rig very quickly you drift away and this is what's happening. You know, I was just at that edge over there in front, and while I was just managing this catfish, uh, <laughs> I drifted so far away, and then I'm just past that that boat. That's not a good sign, and uh, I don't want to drift further and further downstream because it's too far. Uh, I feel better getting closer to the shore, given that this is the. Mississippi River. This is my first time out on the water. But hey, maybe next time, you know, I might get a little more bolder and be able to handle things like that. So this is a successful troll, I would say. I managed to get a fish. That's a pretty big one here. Uh, this catfish, you know, I think it's probably like a five, six pounder. Uh, put up a good fight and uh, managed to land him in the boat. All right, folks, so we're back at the shore. This is a catfish. Let's see if I can hold him up. There you go, big little guy here. Nice specimen. See if they want this fish. <sighs> you folks want fish? You folks want fish? <sighs> hey, you folks want fish? No? Okay. Alright. Fishing for fun? What do you got there? Oh, catfish? off he goes 
So folks, I decided to just call it a night. We don't have too much uh, sunlight. And so thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.